<laughs> All right, so this next one looks like another... So we had the Nightling before, and we had the Plucky Squire, and now we have uh, another one that looks like it's going to be a medieval thing. Have you heard of this? No. All right. Well, we will find out together because we are watching the trailer for... The Action Pack needs you. You can support Mike's After Action Reviews on our Patreon for as little as $3 a month. Every quarter, once we've made at least $200, we're going to be giving away 10% of our earnings from Patreon in a giveaway over on our Twitch, so go check that out as well. You can find all of the links for everything in the description and in the pinned comment down below. Do your part. Support the pack. The action pack. The Cruel King and the Great Hero launch trailer Nintendo Switch. Coming at us from Nintendo of America, we're going to like the video. It's got 285,000 views, 10,000 likes, 230 dislikes. The Cruel King and the Great Hero is available now on Nintendo Switch, so it's already available. Experience a storybook adventure of a young girl who dreams of being a hero and the mighty beast who protects her in The Cruel King and the Great Hero. Can the Dragon King come to terms with the inevitable truth that the girl is bound to learn one day? So immediately I'm thinking female warrior guarded by a beast. Beauty and the Beast. Ah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I don't know how, I don't know where this is going to go. We haven't even, you know, normally you can scroll through here and it'll show you images. I haven't done that. I haven't done known anything about this. So we're going to find out. But do you have any other thoughts before we get started? See what we got. All right. Yeah, let's check it out, though. So, again, I love that everything is Nintendo 4 Nintendo trailers. Um, yeah. We have a 1 minute and 57 second trailer. I hope that you're ready. Hi, it's Travis with Oscar Mike Radio. Oscar Mike Radio is a military and veterans podcast and show about those who serve our country and those who have served and are doing amazing things. But you know what? Let's take more. Let's take more. And then they had that fantastic... It's managing those logistics and, and getting things where they need to be on time. I mean, come on! <laughs> Want to learn more? Want to follow the show? Go to OscarMikeRadio.com or the link below. We're Oscar Mike and we're Mission in Flight. Thank you. Oh, I did it too fast. <laughs> okay, I made a promise. So it's an actual Dragon King. Okay. To help you grow up strong. Okay. Oh. The dragon. Okay, so, uh, you know, obviously like a t three, It's did it say 2D? I don't remember what I said. No, no. A storybook adventure. Okay, so it's actually oh, a storybook. Gotcha. That's, a cool, that's yeah. a cool idea. I like how you have the dragon back here, and it seems like he can do some um, abilities for you. Like, right here. <laughs> like, she jumps with a stick, and he does That's cool. I mean, I think that that's a cool little cute thing. So this is probably more for a specific audience that maybe I'm not a part of, but I, it's looking good so far. So, uh, okay, we got about a minute and 30 seconds left. Here we go. You will travel far and wide and face many trials. Okay. Beat up with the stick. What? You're trying to eat me. Okay, a strong gust. <laughs> All right. So, you know what this makes me think of? One sec, we're at 103. But I'm gonna... You know what this makes what? me think of? Is if the 100-acre wood 
where a game and you played as young, like maybe a little bit of a younger Christopher Robin as yeah. he goes into the, into his own imagination of the hundred acre wood and finds Winnie the Pooh and, and with com <laughs> and then with combat as well. Yeah. So it's, like, yeah. It's, it's like Christopher Robin going around with a sword or yeah. an ax battling imaginary woodland creatures and, and with Winnie the Pooh and Eeyore and all that. Yeah. Yeah. That's cool. Yeah. Right, here we go. Now, we were at 103, so I'll just jump in a few seconds. Okay, so turn-based combat, I'm loving that. Oh! Oh, that was oh, cool. That, yeah, yeah, that's cool. All right, I'm going to turn the volume up so we can watch this, but check this out. That looks so cool. Yeah. I really like turn-based combat like this, like the Final Fantasy games, because then it's more about your strategy than your skill. And I totally, yeah. I like games, I like games where you have the skill factor as far as being, you know, like Cyberpunk or we watch that video yeah. game, like a first-person shooter or, um, you know. Uh, and I like that. That's cool. But I also like s extreme strategy, Co you know, like maybe not extreme strategy, but like strategy being required in combat. Yeah. So it's cool. And you kind of have your plan of how you want to attack and all that kind of stuff. And building up yeah. your team like that. So I like stuff like this. But yeah, got about 50 seconds left. Here we go. You will rise to greatness, even if I must fall by your hand. What? What? Did you see that, by the way? Is he hugging her with some kind of little tiny arm? Or no, it's just, no, it's just her cloak. Oh, let's see, it's her cloak. So, this is the story of how one day, he will defeat me. Okay. So, I think I know what it is. So, the cruel king, and the great hero, and the... Okay, so I know what it is. The cruel king is not the dragon king. The Cruel King is the king that defeated the Dragon King and the, and made a deal with him and said, I'll let you live now. But yeah. you but uh, I'm when I have a child, my, when my daughter grows up. Um, she's going to kill you. Do you understand? Yeah. Like you have to raise my daughter to be strong so that way she can kill you. It's going to be something like that. Like that's gonna that's gonna when he talked about how I made a deal, I made a promise. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah, and so that's why the king is cruel, and then this is the great hero. Mm. What do you might think? Be kinda, it might be kind of a tearjerker. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But, Even the music too. Yeah. Like listen to the music. Yeah, like there's an inherent it's in a key, a minor key, making it kind of an inherent sad thing. Yeah. Yeah. How much would you pay for it? What did you think of it? Uh, I, I liked it. It was pretty cute. Uh, it probably... Oof. I don't know. This one might be... Might be about $40. About the same as the last 30? one. $30? Let's, let's see if we can find it. Um, 30 <laughs> Very nice. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, so... Let's try to become a hero, help of her mighty dragon protector. Cool, yeah. Um, I'd, I'd give it a thumbs up. Yeah, I'll, yeah I, I would say give it a thumbs up, too. This is one of those things where it might be one that you'd like to watch. Yeah, yeah. Rather than necessarily play it yourself. And the only reason I say that is because, you know, it's like there's a lot of games, guys. Do I want to play this rather than going and playing XCOM? You know, I don't. I don't know. You know, it depends <laughs> on the length, too. If it was a short game, I would spend, over, you know, a day or two playing through it and having a fun time. And yeah. Uh, so 30 bucks. Yeah. Go check it out. It is available now on Switch. Um yeah, we both give it a thumbs up. Let's check out what people are saying in the comment section. I love the art style of the Blind Princess. The Blind Prince and the Liar Princess, I'm glad they got to make a new game. Why does this look like it'll kick everyone in the feels? 
<laughs> yeah. That's what I say. It's going to be a tearjerker. <laughs> the story tease that you might have to slay this dragon seems almost too simplistic to be true, but still guaranteed to be emotional, regardless of what actually happens. See, that's why I say about the... Um, that's what I'm saying about the narrative-driven stuff that I really like. Also, just another thing is we talk about how video games, movies, books, just basically the stories that we consume in these ways have now become the modern mythology. This is one of those things where you're obviously going to have a fun time playing through and doing the combat, but it also seems like it's going to give you a moral, like a moral to learn from. Like, yeah. like at the end of this, you're going to have to think about introspectively think about what it is, what you are, what is life, what is truth, what is good, what is evil. And, um, yeah, I love, I love stuff like that. Uh, at the same time, I am into a, a little bit more of a hardcore gaming experience, but yeah. And I also don't have a switch, so I can't play it anyway. Um, <laughs> yeah. Uh, let's see. Already pre-ordered it. Don't pre-order things. Well, maybe something like this is safe. I don't know. I think I would say that this looks safe to me. Uh, this is literally the story of Assassination Classroom, and I am crying in emotions just by thinking what a game like this. A turn, and it's a turn-based RPG. I need this. I love turn-based RPGs. What is Assassination Classroom? Some very strange-looking show. Huh. Yeah. Uh, yeah, Japanese stuff is weird. That's, that's all that there is to it. <laughs> Um, yeah, all right. Well, hey, guys, check it out. Uh, it's available now, like I said, 30 bucks, And it looks like it'll be a little bit of an emotional ride. So, um, yeah. I think that the video games this week were actually pretty interesting, pretty pretty good. So no problems yeah. there. A uh, lot of plus, Nintendo. <laughs> yeah, well, and, and we're going to move on here, though, on to movies and series. So we'll just take a little bit of a break. And we will see you guys after this short intermission don't forget to check me out on twitch and join the discord where you can voice chat with me while a live stream and you won't be recorded or anything on youtube and twitch so that's pretty cool you can also find me on facebook and instagram if you like to read you can see my after action reports on my blog and if you are interested you can get some merch from my spring store the links for everything are in the description below